Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the newest piece of DDD support that has been spoiled for the OCG's release in their most recent V-Jump. Now, it is a V-Jump card, it is not in a core set, so we don't know when we'll be able to get this card, because it will not be in a core set. It will have to specifically be imported through some set or extra release, like a tin, like Flame King Genghis was originally, and stuff like that. And I believe the original Flame King Genghis was also a V-Jump promo, and that's why it took us so long to get it, on top of the fact that we had to get all the DD cards imported through Dimension of Chaos, the tins, and then the Structure Deck release. So, ultimately, I don't know exactly when we'll be able to expect seeing this card, but when we do see it, it'll hopefully be very good for the deck, and hopefully the deck will still be capable of being around. But, DDD Flame High King Executive Genghis, the Genghis upgrade, if you will, is a fire fiend fusion effect monster. It is level 8 with 2800 attack and 2400 defense, and its requirements are a little bit unorthodox in terms of what we're used to, but it requires a level 5 or higher DD monster plus one DD monster. So you can fusion summon this using the original Flame King Genghis, Gus King Alexander, Ragnarok, Savant Thomas, Savant Nicola. Uh, Curse King Siegfried, Oracle King the Ark, you can summon it with all of these cards, and ultimately, since the other material can be just a DD monster, you can summon it with Necro Slime. Say you have the original Flame King Genghis or Gus King Alexander in Grave, and you have a Necro Slime in Grave, you can then banish Necro Slime and then that level 5 or higher DD monster that's in your Grave to summon this card. Something to very, very much keep in mind. But, its effect is, if another DD Monsters is normal or special summon to your side of the field while you control this face-up card, except during the damage step, you can target one DD monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of DDD, Flame High King Executive Genghis once per turn. Once per turn, during your turn, when a spell slash trap card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation. This is a quick effect. So, those are two very good, very key effects. And I really want to focus on the first one a little bit more than the secondary one because it's unfortunately only activatable during your own turn when you're making plays. But the effect that allows you to special summon another DD monster is great. It's another combo extender. It's something great for this deck because it allows you to combo up into bigger monsters that also allow you to facilitate continually extending your combos. Basically being able to summon this card as a level 8 fusion mid combo and then also being able to get more special summons going off and then overlaying with this card, say like with this card and a Beowulf or this card and a Ragnarok for example or a Savant Thomas and being able to facilitate rank 8 plays into something like Titanic Galaxy or Kali Yuga. But basically this card's effect is actually really cool because of the fact that it can trigger when a DD monster is normal or special summoned. Not just special summoned, when normaled as well. So you can start your plays with fusion summoning this card, and then immediately do something so simple as normal summon Kepler, and then you can revive so many different options just from this card to be an alternate play starter. Basically, if you had a hand like, I don't know, like Swirl Slime and Ragnarok plus Kepler, that would be an amazing, like, hand to start with because you would just be able to swirl slime with Ragnarok into this card and then normal summon Kepler and then Ke this card would trigger to bring back Ragnarok. Like there's so many different like little applications that you could do there that are actually just really cool and actually make this card super super high value. I believe this card is at least a staple one of when this card releases to the OCG and eventually the TCG. This card is amazing and the fact that it's a level 8 means that you're able to rank 8 with it while it also facilitated itself as a combo piece. So often I see people have to use Necro Slime or something to summon Beowulf just to use it as a material to make a rank 8 when that's really not very high impact, high value, or high economic wise of a play to be doing. It's just something that has to be done as basically the last step in your combo string. Whereas instead of making Beowulf you can make this card and this card fulfills the same basic requirement you were using Beowulf for but you then get to use it as an extender by summoning more monsters. It ultimately just makes your boards much bigger, much better, more well-rounded, and I really like it. Now, its secondary effect is kind of alright. It's unfortunate that you can only use it during your own turn. Once per turn during your turn, when a spell trash slash trap card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation. That's a quick effect. Now, it's only activatable during your turn, as it says, and it doesn't really stop too many problematic cards in the current format because the only thing this card really would hit is things like bottomless fiendish chain and stuff like that or like if you're playing against metal foes or something like it would hit like counters that you don't want um to like have to deal with 
Stuff like that. Like, if you're trying to push through boards and your opponent has a counter, or even something like Full Metal Fist Fusion, I guess you can negate those. The biggest problem I have with this effect is that it ultimately isn't during either player's turn. I feel like it could have been. I mean, it would have been just fine, uh, because we already have something like Siegfried. This would have just been another card you could have summoned alongside it. But then also... Um, they, like, the fact that it doesn't really negate the problem cards of the current format, those being cards like Dimensional Barrier or Solemn Strike, you really don't get a lot of flexibility here with being able to force your plays through, unless the cards you're negating are just very mundane cards that your opponent's trying to use to advance their own engine, thus utilizing that to be, like, advantageous towards them against you, rather than just out the right trying to stop you with some of the most powerful cards of the format. This card can't negate Solemn Strike because it's not fast enough in spell speed, and it can't really touch Dimensional Barrier because Dimensional Barrier will likely just be activated as soon as the fusion spell trying to summon this card would be activated because DDD really relies very heavily on a fusion summon to start plays moving before it even gets to doing anything else. So it's just got a huge target on its head in terms of not being able to be summoned if Dimensional Barrier is down. And those are like the two biggest cards of the format right now, Solemn Strike and Dimensional Barrier. So ultimately... There's not really going to be a lot that you can activate like this against, unless it's, like I said, very mundane things like like uh, full Metal Foes Fusion, Metal Foes Counters, uh, the, like the equip effect of Union Hanger, <laughs> like just little things like that that ultimately aren't really going to be that big of a factor in terms of how you're playing your turn. It's definitely a factor, don't get me wrong. I mean, being able to negate a full Metal Foes Fusion that's trying to summon an Alkahist, something like that is definitely very impactful, but... Ultimately, it's very like very limited in scope, so I'm not the biggest fan of its secondary effect, but I definitely think what makes this card is its first effect, because it can trigger when a DD monster is normal or special summoned. That is so important. The fact that it can be normal or special summoned, and it will trigger this guy's effect to start summoning things and spam special summoning combos, that is absolutely ridiculous and absolutely insane, and this will definitely change some of the combo strings that DDD is capable of, and like I said, make their boards and their game plans better overall moving forward. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this card. I really, really like this card. I cannot wait to see how Konami actually designs the two other High King Executive monsters, being Alexander and um, and Caesar. I cannot wait to see how they design those cards from the anime over into the actual game, because this is very different from what it did in the anime. Very, very different, but it's so much better than what it did in the anime, at least from the scope of extending plays. So, ultimately... I really like the card, and I'm really curious about you guys' opinions in the comments down below. And like I said, I'm super curious to see what the other two High King Executive monsters, being Alexander and Caesar, are going to be capable of doing with their effects once those get spoiled. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. As I've already said multiple times in the comments down below, thanks for watching as always. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe to all that nonsense. If you want to connect with me, chat with me, whatever, or support me directly, there's links in the description to my Facebook page, as well as a link to my Patreon. If you want to support me directly, help future things in the channel be possible, help maybe live stream locals do things like that or even just enter into a monthly giveaway which i'm doing at the end of this month for a box of raging tempest and hopefully if doing well enough that will also do a second giveaway for a box of fusion enforcers if you want to get some free stuff you could definitely go check that out and maybe consider donating and supporting me even just a tiny bit it would help out a ton in the terms of the long term and the things that i'm going to be trying to do for the channel and it shows that you really enjoy my content but anyway other than that like i've already said like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.